it's always hard to know the best place to start with a book. But I think I'll do just one quote. Don't turn to it yet. It's on the second page of quotes. It's from Kathleen Christensen, who is of the Sloan Foundation, and here's what it says. We are very much a time-famished nation. People want more control over their time. And I think as I read blogs and books, one of the themes that is really cropping up is how tired we are. And it's not just physically tired, it is the emotional uncertainty of layoffs and careers and career changes, and everybody is a little insecure. And the latest productivity figures demonstrate that we're going up in productivity, but not up in salary. People are working harder fewer people are working harder to get things done. That may be the real undergirding launching pad for this terrific book, Womenomics, Write Your Own Way or Your Own Rules for Success. The two authors, Caddy Kay and Claire Shipman, are both uh, established and very good accomplished First journalists. Gets to the heart of the book. We worried that anything that smacked of lack of ambition, of working but not always aiming for the pinnacle, just wouldn't be professionally correct. The overwhelming majority of women are longing to kick down that corporate ladder, flee the 8 a.m. to daycare closing dash, but at the same time hang on to some real status. We're the ones who want more time for our children, our parents, our communities, ourselves, and in one story in the book, my dog. <laughs> Most educated women don't want to quit work altogether even if they could. We want to use our brains and be productive professionally, but we don't want to keep tearing at the fabric of our families or our lives outside of the workplace. We need to slow down. We want to slow down. The situation is so dire that a majority of us will opt, when asked, for less responsibility. We will trade duties, a title, even salary increases for more time, more freedom, more harmony. We don't want to quit, far from it, but time has become our new currency. So this book says you've got this generation of women who want to work to succeed professionally, but they don't want that to be their entire life and they're refusing to do it that way. And the book is really a, uh, a lengthy uh, description of what that means what in is the value out. of women in business. Here's one value. Our right brain multitasking and problem solving skills help us make good corporate decisions. Throw in the fact that we've got more degrees than men do by the way, 60% of last year's bachelor's degrees went to women. 60%. We've got more degrees than men do, and that there is an approaching talent shortage, especially of college-educated workers, and anyone can do the math. We have never been high. I try to summarize the book in a box. Women are different from men. And what women want and need in a career is different from what men at least have wanted. They want genuine flexibility, time to live their wives as women, as mothers, as wives, while still doing a good job at work. They are beginning to get what they want, and this trend is called womenomics. And it will become the dominant work and worldview in the years to come for women, and ultimately, they are a good look. Nine rules to negotiate. I'll let you read that on your own. Womenomics, write your own rules for success. Things are changing, and Caddy Kay and Claire Shipman chronicle that change and champion it. Hope you found this useful. Thank you.